Hi, in today's video, I am going to talk about two extra optional outputs that you can get from LN2 multilaterate. First, let's remember the data. Here, I have around 0.2 mm isotropic T1 weighted images of a living human brain, and I have zoomed in around the Heschel's chairs. As an input, I am going to use my segmentation that you can see from here, and as the secondary input, I am going to use the control point file which you might remember that it only had a single voxel labeled with the label 2 to indicate the center of our coordinate system that we want to impose on this folded brain surface you can see the surface from here now let's move to Laney LN2 multilaterate first I'm going to give the segmentation file as input then I will have the control points file in the previous videos, I have already showed you how LN2 multilaterate works and which outputs it creates by default. But now I'm going to show you two extra outputs. First one is called norms and the other one is called angles. Let's run. You can see that after a few seconds, the algorithm has finished operating. We have the usual parameter, parameter chunk uv axis and uv coordinates outputs these are by default and i have showed you these outputs in the previous videos today as an option we have acquired four new outputs so let's have a look at them the first optional output is norm l2 this is basically the euclidean distance geodesically measured from every voxel inside my segmentation file the gray matter labeled voxels to the center of the flat coordinate system that i am finding using ln2 multilaterate and you can realize that this file is actually much larger than the parameter chunk output one of the main outputs that we are giving so we have actually computed our new flat coordinate system inside this parameter chunk file most precisely but for the rest of it we still have computed the distances to the center of the file i usually use this norm file to do debugging to see if my inputs were wrong in some ways for instance to do it quickly you can load this norm file as a segmentation file and you will see the following colorful image so the nice thing about uh, itk snap is that if you load a floating precision nifty data it will automatically convert it into integer precision when you load it as a segmentation file which allows you to quickly see the one unit intervals between the values that you have measured for instance here each stripe each line is one millimeter geodesically distant from the center of the coordinate system and the nice thing is you can actually check this file using the update and see how your distance measurements worked out you can clearly see that this is the center of our flat coordinate system that is embedded in this folded manifold and how the Euclidean distance is measured geodesically to the center of it similarly I like to sometimes having a look at L infinity norm you can load similarly as an additional file to see the floating point precision distances measured by L infinity norm and also load it as a segmentation file and update the mesh menu to see how it looks for the rest of your gray matter voxels you'll see that it looks much more rectangular as expected okay now let's have a look at the angle related measurements quadrants output so this I'm going to directly load it as a segmentation file. You can see that this file nicely shows the quadrants of my coordinate system. I time to time find this output useful to have a look at when I am especially determining whether my cortical chunk is large enough to grab the area that I want and like how the quadrants are positioned inside of it and actually the source of this file is given here too which is called radiance if i load it as an additional image you will see that for my parameter chunk the disk that i have grown for a certain radius and the coordinate system that i have injected inside the flat coordinate system i have now measured the angular values for each coordinate point you can see that here the values switch from 2 pi to 0 Similarly, you can also load this file as a segmentation file. It will look as follows. This is normal because we have zeros here when floating points are converted into integers. Some values will become zero, right? And it will not be shown in ITK snap. And you will start seeing the integer one intervals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different intervals because two pi is a bit larger than six so here i would like to emphasize that all these outputs are there for convenience 
mostly for me as a developer however the important point is that all these outputs can be generated with a bit of programming using the uv coordinates output remember that this is the main output of ln2 multilaterate in this output we have two volumes one is for indicating the u coordinate and the second one is for indicating the v coordinate the flat coordinates and if you look at the histogram of this image you will see that it will go as far as your radius value in this case i didn't indicate it and by default it's 10 so it is ranging from minus 10 to 10 millimeters and actually you can use the itk snaps magnitude option as this is a 4d nifty file with two volumes inside the first and the second component of the coordinates written for each voxel if i click on magnitude it will compute basically the l2 norm which i have like for convenience give as an optional output in lane 2 that's all for today. Thank you.